to not fulfill my assignment. I am on assignment tonight, and I usually, when I travel to preach, I usually fly. And this time, thank you so kindly, sir, this time, my plans changed and I took the train. And I did not know why. I could not explain why. But at four o'clock this morning, I was stirred. And the Lord showed me, you're going to have to change trains in the middle of nowhere. And he showed me taking my suitcase off my train and he showed me nothing but grass. There was no station. He said, you're going to have to change the train. And I'm so glad for the Holy Ghost that he doesn't catch you off guard. And so, coming from New York, we got on one train at 7 a.m. But we did not arrive here until about 3 p.m. And the first train ride was into New York City, and that was smooth sailing. And we got on Amtrak to come to Washington, D.C. And as we were boarding the train, the conductor said to me, as soon as you and mother get on, we're going to take off. He did not know me. And he passed by me again and spoke to me. And he passed by the other passengers and did not say anything to them. And right outside of Wilmington, Delaware, I heard a long horn. And it was not the usual station horn. And I felt the brakes on the train pulling. And the train, I said, this train can't stop that fast. This train can't stop that fast. And I began to prepare and brace for impact. But I never felt impact. The train came to a complete stop. And we just sat there. And that same conductor, we saw him walking outside of the train on the grass with his head hung down. And he went to one end of the train, and Mother Vicar said to me, I see ambulance lights. And I began to pray. And I said, oh God, whatever has happened, protect us and touch whatever needs to be touched. And we saw the conductor after, about 10 minutes later, he came back with his head hung down lower. And the announcement was that there was some police activity and we were delayed indefinitely. And I began to pray some more. And then they came back and said, a woman right outside of Wilmington, Delaware had laid herself down on the track at the last minute and the train could not stop. I immediately began to pray for the family that would get that tragic phone call. I began to pray for that conductor that I spoke to. The passengers were shaking. We did not know what to do. And about an hour later, they said, you are going to have to change trains now. The man's face across from me he looked at me, he said, how did you know that? He said, the Spirit of the Lord will give you what's to come. I don't know the story of the woman who laid herself down in that track, but God has allowed us to be here for a reason. I don't take it for granted. And because of that, I want to read from St. Luke chapter 
8, verse 43. Evangelist Carl, I won't be long for you tonight. I just want to read a few words. When you have the word, it's not my saying that. And they told me, although I'm a coach of baby, this is Women's Day. So I want to speak to the women primarily and the men of God. The word of God will be coming for you as well. Amen. And verse 43 reads, This won't 